On December 15th, 2007, I had secured what I thought would be the biggest interviewee of my career, Sir Sean Connery. However, as I approached his address, I realised I was in for more than I bargained for. This man is clearly not Sean Connery, and yet he sincerely believes he is. As a journalist, I could not let such an interesting opportunity pass me by. What does Sean Connery do in the morning? In the morning? Mm -hmm. Well, excuse you enough, I wake up, um, days I'm not working, uh, being a milkman, I... Excuse me, I... what, sorry? I'm a milkman. That's my job. I've, I, are you not a, an actor? I've moved on from acting. I could read of Norman Lunch, it's my uh, book at the moment, uh, Philip Pullman, um, reading the series. Um, then I I always have a sip of my whiskey, uh, Scotch of course, all this American stuff. Um, yes. What type of uh, whiskey is that? Bell's, Bell's whiskey. Is that, is that a good whiskey? I'm sorry, I don't know anything. It's, oh, it's, it's amazing, yes. It's, uh, usually get the, this or, um, or... Well, this is what I usually get. Uh, I mean, I don't know much about whiskey, but I'm pretty sure... Um, I mean, at least here in Scotland, you have uh, more noted whiskies. I don't know if they're better, but... Yeah. I've, I've, I mean, I, I see bells all over. It doesn't seem to be very, um, you know, uncommon. Yes, it's just, it's not uncommon. Um, I I usually get this though, because it's what I've been drinking most of my life. So, uh, but there's loads, there's loads of this, especially local, there's, there's a few local. Um, but there's stuff like Glenmorangie and others, but yes, I usually go with this. I remember the the first one I ever saw you in was uh, I think it was called Time Lock. Time Lock. Yes. Um, do you yes. remember that film? Yeah, that's not very well. It was uh, in my drinking period. So. Drinking period. Yes, yes. It's been a part, a big part of my life. Um, but I I do like to be known for my other good films like. Um, and for October, for example, I play a Russian, a Russian submarine captain, and uh, you were you were Russian in that film? I was. Yes. I didn't. I didn't notice you being Russian, especially. It, I had a certain accent, but I was definitely a Russian. Oh, okay. Yes, I spoke some Russian as well. I had to learn some Russian. Um, alongside Alec, Alec Baldwin, you know of him, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Um. Good film. Um, but yes, uh, to answer your question, James Bond is a big part of my life, but uh, I try not to let it shadow of everything else. Coming here, I mean, you are Sean Connery, you're a worldwide known celebrity. It's, I mean, I, I'm, I am kind of confused as to why you do live in a flat with one guy, um, despite the fact that you do have houses elsewhere and you are a knight and you are surely living somewhere with better travel links you often go to the states i'm often sure yes um, i'm knighted yes i'm sean connery but um and yes i live with a guy but it's like most people and most celebrities they they yearn for um the mundane Oh, Porsche. Yes. Sorry, I mean, is this something you usually do in the morning? Oh, uh, not usually, just uh, now and again. Uh, I like to look at the pictures. Yes. Okay, yes. Okay. Um, I think so, yes. I think so. 
Hello? Yash? Hello? I can't hear you. I've lost you. Hello? Something about this man appealed to me. Perhaps it was his naivety or sincerity. Whatever it was, I thought I would leave Sean to conclude his morning routine, and agree to meet him outside. Hello.